you by the arrow that it's this direction in the book. And there is Portsmouth. We also have differences here for high water. When high water is at zero or twelve hundred, the difference is going to be minus ten minutes. If it's at oh six hundred, and 1800, the difference will be five minutes. But on the 5th of March, our high water is at 1051. It's between 6 a.m. and 12 p.m. So we need to find out how many minutes to take off. And that's what we're going to do today. How do we do our secondary port time calculations? First of all, since we can't go anywhere and we can't go to France, we're going to go in the imaginary world of the RYA training chart. It's quite a big chart. in the book. And there are our Colville title times. 
1900s, the correction is going to be minus 14 minutes. And you can see we have our high water information for springs and neaps, and you will do the same things for the low water as well. And here are your meter corrections. Let's just work with the high water times right now. use our 
We only really need to go to 19 because we're going to be anchoring at 1600. Alright, now down this side, I'm going to make some more marks. Now you can see the difference between this and the crocodile, the crocodile chart because you don't need to have the exact minutes like you do in the crocodile chart. We're just going to go um, minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40. And that's all we need to do. So we know that at 1300, we're going to plot a difference of 38 minutes, which would be about there. So, in absence of graph paper, I'm going to put our dot there for 1300, and that's our time difference at 1300. We know that at 1900, our difference is 14 minutes. So, I would put that about there. And now we can draw a line between those two plots, more or less. And we just come down from the time that we want to anchor, 1600, and it intersects there, which will give us, look at that, a time of about minus 26 minutes. All right, so there is way number two. Now, I told you I would show you three ways. The third way is for those of you who enjoy maths, and I admit I am not one of those people. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is just for visualizing purposes, draw a little chart here so I can illustrate um, for myself and for those of you who, to whom maths does not come naturally. But you don't need to do this. If you understand everything, you're good. So what I'm going to do is again draw our times between 1300 and 1900 which is when we want to anchor. So the two high waters, as we've done in the two previous charts. There we are, nice six hours. And we know we want to anchor there. So we can see that 1600 visually is exactly halfway between 1300 and 1900 which is another reason I picked this time, because it's very easy to show you, easy to illustrate. So this third way, you can remember our time differences there, what we're going to do is take high water, um, I don't want to say high water one, because that sounds like we have got two high waters, but high water springs, okay, and high water neeps. So, our first high water correction is 38 minutes, and we're going to subtract the second high water time correction. So, minus 38, minus, minus 14, we get... Minus 24. Alright. So we've subtracted our high 
it's exactly half. So we're going to multiply it by 0.5. <laughs> How do we find that if it's not exactly half? Well, to find that proportion, we're going to take the time in question, which is 1600 minus our first high water. All right, and divide that by the entire time, which is the second high water minus the first time water springs neeps all right so then we get 300 divided by 600 so it's exactly half but you can do that your time in question is going to be there that's going to be your variable and that will give you this number. So once we've taken the difference between the two high waters and multiplied it, so we should get minus 12 minutes. So very easy to see. And there we have our title time of 1600 minus 12 minutes gives us a Dawson Harbor tidal height time of 15.48. Here we got 15.34. So bad. Yeah, not even 10 minutes. It's not extremely precise, but there are three ways to do your secondary port time calculations. If you have any questions about the secondary port or the calculations that I've shown or any of your Yacht Master theory, please don't be afraid to leave it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, do like and subscribe. Give it a little thumbs up. If you were listening for relaxation, I hope you enjoyed all of the paper sounds and the pencil sounds and the whispering and that you are nice and relaxed and warm. Be good to yourself and as always, be extraordinary.